What is going on everybody? Noble here with you guys today and in today's video I just wanted to show you guys how to go ahead and set up your Xbox Game Pass for PC. Now for those of you that don't know, uh, Xbox just recently announced Game Pass for PC and of course they have Xbox Game Pass already for your Xbox but they also have it now available for PC players if you guys want. Now the first thing that you're going to want to go ahead and do is head on over to your Microsoft Store. So we're just going to go ahead and type in store and open the app here. All right, so once this is opened up, you guys are gonna see this, get Xbox Game Pass for PC, and again, like I said, it is in beta right now. You go ahead and click on this, and it's going to open up a page and ask you to download the app. Now again, whenever you go ahead and click on this, it's going to ask you if you have the latest update for your Windows 10 PC. If you don't, of course, you're gonna have to update that and get that installed. So whenever you are done with that, you can go ahead and try to download the app. Now, whenever you go ahead and open this, um, it is basically just Game Pass on your PC. So I've already gone through the games here, and uh, there is actually 103 games that are available right now. I do kind of like this feature right here, what will you play next, it just asks you to click on the button here, it says surprise me, and it just kind of scrolls through some of the games that are available on Game Pass and suggests a brand new game for you to play. I do kind of like that feature. Uh, this may get you to try something that you may not have tried otherwise cluster truck a very good game if you guys have not tried it out before let me go ahead and do it just one more time see what we got rhyme I have not played one more for the hell of it why not uh, void bastards guys I've been playing this on Xbox I personally enjoy it some people may not but if you guys have not checked it out yet go ahead and check it out now if you don't have game pass available to you right now I've actually signed in under Jade's account right now uh, it will ask you to go ahead and join and whenever you do that um, it's going to ask you to try to manage your account and then whenever you do that it's going to bring you to your Microsoft account you'll have to sign in and go ahead and sign up for Xbox Game Pass for PC now I'm gonna go ahead and sign out sign back into myself so you guys can see what it actually looks like whenever you do decide to get it all right so we are signed back in here and now you guys can see this is what uh, the Xbox Game Pass for PC looks like uh, we've got a home button here we've got Game Pass here these are all the games that you can go ahead and play again they've got a few games that they're highlighting at the very top they've got some of the recently added ones which give you a small description of what the games are your most popular and then down below again you've got the surprise me button which is a really nice feature in my opinion uh, Pony Island what is that I, I may check that out that sounds like a really dumb game and then you've got all games here so we're gonna go ahead and check that out real quick all right so I've gone ahead and I've allowed every game to go ahead and try to load up their uh, uh, the thumbnails real quick they have hundred and three games right now that you guys can go ahead and check out for yourself I don't want to waste too much time on this but it's basically the same thing that you get on your Xbox you've got a variety of games that you can go ahead and check out You've also got a social tab here, which is basically just your messages and chats from Xbox. Uh, I don't know what this one is here, but I will figure that out later. So we've got friends, we've got chats. That's pretty cool there. And then we've got the store. Now, the reason that they have the store is because you can actually buy these games. Keep in mind, with Xbox Game Pass, you do have a variety of games that you can go ahead and play. Like I said, right now there's 103 on here. But if you lose access to Xbox Game Pass, you lose access to all these games. However, if there is a game that you are 100% absolutely sure that you want to go ahead and keep on playing, you can buy those games at a discount on Xbox Game Pass. So uh, let's just try to scroll through some of these here. I will show you if I can come across any. All right. So. I don't own Super Lucky's Tale, for example. This is probably not a game that I would buy, but this is just a quick example. It's usually a $20 game, but if I go ahead and buy it while I have Game Pass, I can go ahead and pick it up for $12.99. Same thing with a Super Hot. It's a $25 game. If I buy it while I have my Game Pass enabled, I can go ahead and pick it up for $20. So it saves you a little bit of money in case you want to continue playing a game but don't want to continue paying for your Xbox Game Pass, you can get that game at a discount and not have to pay full price. So that's basically the entire app there. We've got uh, some notifications here for messages and whatnot. You've got your icon here you can show games that you own and stuff like that. Again, your Xbox button over here is your home button, takes you back to the beginning. And that's basically it. It's a very simple install. Once again, you do have to have your PC updated to the latest 
version of Windows 10 and then you can go ahead and install this. I just wanted to put this out there. Um, again, if you guys are considering getting Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, you can go ahead and do that. If you don't know how to do that, we will make a quick tutorial for that. But uh, I just wanted to try to run this down real quick. Um, I have had Ultimate for a couple of months now. I will always have games to go ahead and play, whether it's on Xbox, whether it's on PC, whatever the case, um, I think it's a pretty good deal. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, let me know in the comments down below. And as always, we will see you guys in the next video.